Hi everybody, this is Robin Moses. I am here with Compassionista and starting this tutorial with Dazzle Dry Jones Armor number 441, a very dark gray, and I'm going to use this as chalkboard. And um, you can get the brushes at RobinMosesNailArt.com or at RobinMosesBrushes at Yahoo.com. And I will begin this tutorial doing chalkboard nails for Christmas. Alright, so I have a light green, a light red, a light blue, white, a light yellow, and a light brown. Now, I'm going to show you the, the beginnings. If this is going to be a hard thing to teach because without it, I have to do each one one by one or you won't learn. But I can't do one by one or else this tutorial will be 14 minutes long and then nobody will watch it. So I'm going in with these colors that have been all lightened up with white so that they attach themselves to this color and look like chalk. That's why I added white to them. And then I'm going in and drawing the bow like this, leaving a little three, like a three, and a backwards three, then touching down, touching down, touching down, touching down. You want it to look like it kind of scratchy. You don't want anything to look too fluid on this because it's supposed to look like chalk. So with my um, brush, I'm kind of going down in lines, line down taking just the side of my brush and pulling, pull, pull, pull. That will give you lines that are straight but not perfect. You don't want perfect lines because then it will look weird. You want it to look like scratchy, if that makes sense. So there's that. Then I'm going to use pure white. Usually I go in layers, as you guys know. But um, White is always beautiful as a chalkboard design because it stands out and it also looks chalky so it really gives your dimension to your design. Uh, okay so if you want to be like like creative-ish then you then you take it and you kind of like scratch in over with white to make it look like snow but it also looks like chalk. So there's that. If it gets too, if it, this is a perfect des uh, design to practice writing with because if, it, if it's wrong or if it's too big or whatever, you go over to the side like that. See, and that's what, that's what I wanted to show you. I put the wrong R in, but it still made me allowed to teach you what I wanted to because I was going to do it with the Xmas. So Xmas would be, I'll do that in yellow. It's this. Now with my brush, I'm going to make little dots on the ends of each letter, and that gives you that homey, kind of crafty look to them. And I see that writing done a lot on uh, cardstock, and and uh, if you do a lot of uh, the, uh, when you work on photo albums and stuff, this is a, a regular text that you use, and um, it, it, what it does is it shores up the whole look and makes it look more professional, but at the same time, anybody can write with it. And I hope that helps you guys. Um, I'm going to go in like this, and we're going to make a V, and then push down. Then make a little boom. And make a little boom. You can leave some of it open or you can color it all in. It's almost like drawing lips. Boom. Two half lips. There. The holly berries are the light red again. This might be a little too dark. Same way as I did the writing. So you would do six sides. So you make an X and then you put a line through it. Then with your daughter Boom, boom, boom. Another reason I like white, because you know it's white. You don't have to mix the color and make it look like chalk. You can do dots like that. Or you can do bigger, fatter dots. Boom, 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 boom. Then wipe through your brush, leave a clean brush, and pull through. And then you have more of a substantial. And then, doo 
do 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 and then smaller. And then take a dry brush, pull the center and pull it down. And then, oops. And I'm just going to lighten up that red because I know, okay, for a large red, it's better. Okay. So. Yellow, yellow, or you can make an eight, either one, and you can make it go up or down, whichever you like. Because I'm working wet right now, then then it will go down. Um, uh, and on this one, I'm going to use black. Now, now the black will be assumed that it is dark gray. It's not going to show the difference, but it gives you the illusion. And then with my pinky red, make him a big old blob of a nose. And you can give him like a tie. Oh, I'll give him a bow tie. <laughs> Perfect. I'll put a few Christmas presents that are kind of like squares with lines to them and stuff like that. But basically, here is the tutorial, and I will show you it finished. Okay, and here is the end result, and I hope you guys like these. I used Maddie by Dazzle Dry as the top coat, so it looks all chalkboardy. Here's the tree, the Merry Christmas. I've highlighted everything to make sure that it is all perfect but imperfect and at the same time. The little highlighted Rudolph. And I, um, I did the angel lastly and very easy to do. And um, I hope you guys can see how she's done, basically. But anyways, I hope that you guys learn these, that you share them, that you shout me out. If you try them, say please say inspired by Robin Moses if you do. And also, I am doing recreations of other artists' work to help get their names out. And so if you have a design that you would like me to recreate, please hashtag me at Instagram at paint me Robin Moses and I will look through there and pick designs and help you get your stuff out and support freehand nail art at the same time having fun and not having to worry about any of the other stuff that goes on and just helping you guys while you help me get the word out for myself. So I hope you guys have a great holiday and a happy new year and you've learned a lot. See you back with more. Bye! Bye.